Hello and welcome, or welcome back, to Skywind's segment of Creation ModCon 2023. Creation ModCon is a virtual cross-project event hosted for and by the Skyrim modding community, and we're pleased to say that this was our third year in a row participating, and as usual, we had a blast. This video features our own segment from the Creation ModCon livestream, as well as our after-party hosted on Twitch. Apologies for the VOD quality, we weren't able to grab a local recording this time, but nevertheless, without further ado, enjoy the event. Yeah, hey, howdy, and hello to chat, and welcome to the ModCon 2023 Skywind panel. We're all really happy to have this opportunity to hang out with you and show some stuff that's been going on with the Skywind. Uh, this year, your host will be UCM, our beloved master of ceremonies and level designer. Howdy. And of course, we also have our famous Twitch star and builder of cities, Zix, our 3D and nav mesh lead. Hello, hello. <laughs> And last but certainly not least, we have our beloved concept art lead, Dal Sifidius. Welcome. And you know, I guess I should have not said last but not least because now I'm last but not least. Hi, I'm Argyle. <laughs> I'm a writer and voice actor on the Skywind team. And yeah, super pumped to be here with you all. So this year, we couldn't exactly decide on what to show you, so we thought, why not maximize it and just kind of give a big comprehensive view as to what we've been up to, uh, both past and present. So we're letting fate take a spin. We are very proud to introduce to you all, drum roll please, The Wheel! The Wheel. The Wheel. The Wheel. <laughs> yeah, well, shall well, we spin it? Absolutely. Waste no time Let's on introductions. We have the wheel. And first oh, up, we'll be going oh. to the Grazeland. All right. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> I want everyone to understand the Grazelands are very work in progress. This is the first time we're showing them publicly. Uh, we can't show terribly much yet because we are still missing the one overworld tile set, which is the Dunmer Stronghold, and they are in the middle of the Grazeland, as you might remember. But we still want to show you what our level designers have done in the past months. And I think it already looks absolutely gorgeous uh, with the old, with the tower overlooking this beautiful waterfall over here. I want to go kayaking here. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's beautiful. Need a boat. <laughs> You're telling me you want to go over those rapids with a kayak? <laughs> I want to watch other people go kayaking here. Oh, OK, OK. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Also, you can see one of our new creatures here in quotations. Uh, I'm pretty sure we didn't show this off yet at any ModCon. So this is our Kwama Forager. And I'm killing you, this guy. And if you're wondering what's going on with it, uh, as we said, this region is like super in progress. I know that this part looks really awesome, but it is actively being developed. So there is no nav mesh right now. So the AI doesn't know what is traversable terrain or not. So little friends like the Kwama Forager, they kind of do a little twitchy dance for you, but they do work. It's all going well. It's just part of progress. I like that you call them little friends. <laughs> well, aren't they? Not quite scribs, but they're pretty close. <laughs> the littlest close scrib. Enough, close enough. Close enough. Yeah, so this is uh, the first the world premiere of the Grazelands. Yeah. A very, very work in progress one, but I still hope you like what you see. Oh, you I know, do. It's nice yeah. to show that Morrowind isn't all ash and dust and misery. People definitely forget when talking about this game that there is this great lush region up to the, I believe it's north, northeast? Don't destroy me if I can't handle yes. simple cardinal directions. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, get, get shiver. We have scripts. I'm pretty sure we have our scripts in game, Not right? Not just yet. Not just yet. What? Mm. What we have in 3D? Okay, we have in 3D. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Also, yeah, we're live. Yeah. Hello, chat. It's good to be back with you guys. Hello. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Um, Shall yeah. we spin the wheel once more? Spin the wheel. Yeah. It is spin time the wheel. to spin. Say it, chat. Spin the wheel. Let's see. Let's see. Also, I hope you guys can see some very exciting uh, items that are on the wheel that may or may not may get chosen. Yeah. We're showing off hey. all the cool stuff right out of the gate. Right? Yeah. We got a really yeah. cool one. So the Imperial Forts uh, are something that I've been working on for the past, uh, probably since April in 3D. Um, I, I, I'm pretty happy to say that at this point, uh, 
level designers and landscapers both have finally gotten their hands on the assets that I've been working on for so long with completed textures, uh, with completed collision, all that fun stuff. And uh, this one is Fort Pelagiad. Uh, here is one example where you can see already guards are hanging around. Uh, they're in their Imperial steel armor, which uh -oh. was uh, faithfully <laughs> recreated from Morrowind. Yeah, they're uh, very <laughs> actively on duty in their beautiful Skyrim steel armor, okay. <laughs> Can we can we get a close up on one of the guard armors? Like Zix sure. was saying, he just finished implementing this armor, so we're really also excited to show that off. It's it's very classic Morrowind. Yeah. They uh, there also will be a skirted version. So they had this long some of them had long coats in Morrowind, which we will also have. They are just not implemented yet. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. One one yeah, thing also important to note real quick that uh I I think um uh, the I think the nav mesh here is a little touchy, so you might see some guards doing some weird stuff in this area. This fort like was the one that was walking into the stables that I uh, ducked <laughs> out of so that uh, we wouldn't draw attention nav to mesh it. Nav mesh is always the perfect excuse, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it's a good one. Nix, <laughs> just because this is the second time it's coming up, could you explain what nav mesh is in one sentence? Yeah, so nav mesh is essentially, uh, as the name implies, a navigational mesh that you slap down in the engine, and it's like a carpet that tells you where NPCs can walk and where they can't walk. You guys ready to get dizzy? Oh yeah, Make it's been the stairs. Spin the stairs. <laughs> oh, okay. spin the stairs. The oh, wheel is already you. over. We're moving on to the stairs. <laughs> Oh no, yeah, I think I've gotten it's, lost it's again. Such a, it's such a cool win to finally have these forts in game. I mean, they're they're like a major part of the setting, and a lot of hard work went into making them a reality. And it just it's just one of those things where it's like you see it, and it just feels like such great progress. It's just a huge part of Morrowind uh, restored for our project. That's why I love that yes. we kept it disorientating enough that you see it. I got it. lost. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought both stairs went up to the same level. <laughs> I realized they didn't. Here we are in the uh, the Imperial Chapel. Yeah, we have we have custom, uh, tapestries for every of the nine gods, which are nine of and not a single one less. No. I don't want to hear. In the in the chat, answer asked, "Will we see Vivek?" <laughs> Only if fate allows it, and the yeah, if fate allows us, so. we will see, we will see so, either Vivek the city or both. Who knows? Yeah, we have uh, Vivek the city and Vivek the dude on the wheel. So pray to the wheel for mercy. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of the favor, risky stuff. On shall, shall we head back to the wheel? the wheel? The wheel. Yes. The wheel. Weird. And we Spin are up. hiding. We are removing choices once they've been selected. So there is a better chance mm -hmm. that we will get to see. Uh, the vet the dude. Oh boy, it's Bitter Coast. Uh, we're going to show off uh, one of the towns in Bitter Coast. This is Narmak. Um, the, the Bitter Coast is one of the first areas that kind of had, uh, I, I, I want to say, like an asset complete list, I suppose. Like it's feature complete, so to speak. Um, so this, this area looks really, really nice. It has nav mesh placed down, it has some schedules going on. Uh, I know that there's <laughs> there's an NPC we want to talk to in here that has voice acting and schedules, and yeah, hopefully we find him. No, I, I, he's right here. Oh, he's right here. It's not a weekend, so he didn't go to Balmora. Gajit is listening. There's a lot of money to be made looting the dwarven ruins. Against the law, yes. But where there is a profit to be made, folks turn a blind eye. One problem, the artifacts are often made of metal and heavy as hell. Unless you are a big brute, <laughs> it's tough to carry away all the loot. Me? I carry a divine intervention, or an Alm City intervention scroll. Load up. Read the scroll, and I'm back in town with a load of goods. <laughs> that is good voice acting. Also, to yeah, everyone who says the, the, the wheel is rigged, it is not. It is how actually rigged. How dare it is, you? How dare you? No, this is Besmirch actually. Besmirch the wheel. Yeah. 
How dare you tempting fate? No, you never get the victory, dude, because you, you, you heathens talk slack on the wheel. I can't believe it. You, you doubted. Yeah. It also, is worth noting. Mm -hmm. oh. I, yeah, I was going to say, it is worth noting. We did a quick little test run before, and we hadn't removed anything from the wheel. First thing that came up was the rarest one on there, so. The yeah. Yeah. dude. All up the chance. Um, I also I just want to say, oh, look at the yeah, so fog. Yeah, that, look at uh, the fog. So last year we uh, intentionally set the weather to be just as nice as could be to show off everything. In came millions of comments asking why there isn't fog. I promise there's fog, see? See, look at it, it's beautiful. I can't see 20 feet. <laughs> okay, I can see more than we that. We do read your comments, we do. We love Morrowind, we, we love fog. <laughs> we just wanted to let you be able to see things. <laughs> Our mistake. Our mistake, we're very sorry for allowing you to see things. That will not happen. But hey, you know, growth mentality. The people have spoken, and here we are. We brought the fog. And we brought the wheel. Yeah. Shall we head back? Speaking of, yeah, the wheel. Shall we spin it again, chat? Spin the wheel. Yes. The wheel. The wheel. Hog fog, the says confused the boy of four. At Ooh. Ooh. Oh, the moon. Okay, yes. so this is another one that's actively in progress. This is a humble introduction. It looks pretty great in my opinion, but it is not finished yet. Um, most of the exterior architecture is pretty much completely done, so we've been able to do some layout stuff. There will be some clear stuff that is in progress, but ultimately, I mean, we don't, I think publicly we've shown off like Aldrune, but foggy, so, or like at nighttime, but now we get a much more direct look at what the capital of House Redoran is looking no like. Way. And again, want to stress this is in actively being worked on area, we just wanted to show off these great models more yeah, than anything. The assets, the assets are just pure magic. I love the red tarp over the towers, uh, looking very... up to Red Mountain and so it looming over the city. It's it's even more cursed when when there's an ash, active ash storm. It's just beautiful. It hits. Yeah. It just hits this iconic mark. But uh, upscaling the models, giving it more detail, not upscaling, that sounds like we're using old models, uh, recreating the style of Red Run, giving it new detail, but still catching this crabby, crabby look it used to have. Um, I'm very satisfied with how the set came out. Yeah, I'm really happy uh, with it. Um, also, I, I think... hmm? go oh. ahead. I was going to say, Argyle mentioned that this is a humble introduction, and I want to stress humble because if you look at Scar, uh, Scar, the model, is... Pretty much there. Uh, this is pretty much what Scar is going to look like. However, it's, it's missing its textures at the moment. It's kind of just got some stone. Just on a do you need? giant rock at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Not crab. We'll go from rock to crab. Have faith. Have have love. If you feel like volunteering, of course, yes, of course. But it's going to happen. <laughs> oh, could oh, you go to the, the mage there. guild? Oh, yes. Yeah. Show off the mages guild. Uh, the mage guild looks uh, really nice. You see, I'm constantly getting lost in our city. I am. I am. I don't know where I am. To your right. Just to your right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Past the walls. Oh, no. Down the stairs. Down the stairs. Go. The layout, is, go, the layout is mostly the same, <laughs> but uh, you see, I'm used to be a filthy Telvani player, so he doesn't know the glory of Arjun well enough. I'm used to be. Everyone. Used to be. Whoa. Used to be. <laughs> So yeah, here yeah. With, the, with the Mage Guild, you can see uh, we're trying to establish a certain consistency. For example, that the Mage Guild is associated with this very magical purple-blue. Uh, the Balmora, maybe we, we get lucky and Fate decides that we also go to Balmora later. Uh, the Balmora Guild Hall of Mages also has like these very beautiful magical windows. And overall, this is like something we try to establish and uh, we even have that with the very specific guild halls like if UCM turns around we have the fighter guild compared which is, to yeah to compare to the fighter guild which is way more <laughs> humble and more more to more to function than to form i would say oh, yeah, yeah that's a beautiful comparison <laughs> so one oh, thing i would like time for the wheel Oh. Wait, let me six say one thing. And then yeah, let me add one thing. So, so if you guys follow our live streams, the Skywind live streams, uh, the next thing that I'll be working on, if uh, you guys watch, is probably the interiors for these things. I'll be modeling those. So if you're interested in seeing live progress, we stream on Twitch. It's a good time. It's a yeah, great time. He's been killing it with the streams recently. Lots of progress on those. And yes. if, you, if you're into metal music... Um, 
<laughs> that's also also often featured on the stream so you should definitely check in sometimes, sometimes. This, i don't know since this chat is being watched i can tell one of the projects yes we are hi Hey, howdy and hello. Hello, hello. Right. It's right. time to spin the wheel. Back the to wheel. the wheel. Tilt Strider Pog. Spin, spin, spin. Yeah, the Lothy Tower. The Lothy Tower. Okay, um, if you watched our last uh, big video, we already featured the Velofi Tower there, but we still wanted to go over here, uh, show you a few more details about it. Um, Oh, you're already there. Lovely. Yeah, uh, yeah our Velofi Towers have their own tile set completely. Um, their own narrow hallways, their own narrow staircases. And uh, this one, I think, is a more hostile one. Yeah, get those weapons out. <laughs> Velofi Tower generally have different functions. Some of them are just lift in, like in Gnizes, there's a collector of Dremor artifacts who, who just lives there, you know, they want to kill him there technically, you can kill everyone of course, but this place here, I'm not sure who lives here, is it a, one of the famous runaway Telvani? I'm not sure. I think so. Yeah, That's never a bad guess. It's never a bad <laughs> guess that, that the Velofi Tower is, is, is ruled by a runaway Telvani, that's true. Um, if I may for a second, I, I caught this in mm -hmm. chat that someone was asking, aren't most Silt Strider dead at this point? Just for the sake of clarity, in case anyone's confused, we are Skywind. We are a reimagining of the Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. We are not beyond Skyrim Morrowind. Yeah. We are focusing on the game from, I believe, 2001, 2002, that old Elder Scrolls game. So just in case anyone isn't totally aware of who we are, what we're doing, that's kind of the, the quick and dirty. Mm-hmm. Beyond Skyrim, oh. Morrowind has a showcase tomorrow uh, during the second day of ModCon, I believe. Oh, you see, I'm also, once you're done opening the door, uh, could you maybe show your loadout and zoom out on the character that was a request in chat? Uh, sure. That. I'll do it right here in this ash pit. Okay. That thing. So this year, we decided, you know, by the fashion designer Zix, who designed this character <laughs> and her outfit, We've got, what is it, Drew, uh, Pauldrons, and Gauntlets, and... Hey, you know the... Hmm? I'm thinking this outfit looks a little symmetrical. Could you, uh, could you maybe show off that we can change it around a little bit? Could you take sure. off a pauldron? Let's see. Looks yeah, very heavy to, for her shoulders. Nothing to replace it with, but we'll take, uh, we'll take one off and add one of the gauntlets, too. Left, yeah. left side goes, uh, goes empty. How about that? <laughs> Much better for her back. Yeah, super cool that we've uh, been pretty accurately able to recreate Morrowind's uh, armor system. Uh, we've restored pauldrons and uh, gauntlets, all that good stuff. So you can have a lot more customization with mm -hmm. how your armor is going to work together. We're really always proud to show that off whenever we get the chance. Yeah, And of uh, course, the Colovian fur helmet. Oh, yeah. Of yeah. course. Yeah. <laughs> so you see, I'm last year. Last year, you 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 were a male character, and you took off your pants. I think we should be equal. You should also take off the pants of the female character too, for equality's sake. You're a monster, but okay. <laughs> that uh. Perfect. Oh, I like good. her. <laughs> <laughs> that Dal's equality. weird. Uh... What? And anyway, we'll just unlock <laughs> this. Unlock which also check out the. Uh... Yeah, custom bad. animations. Bam. Yeah, we, we got room for custom animations if any animators are out there. We have big love for that. Yeah, that's not a meme. Like, please, if you're an animator, it would be lovely if you could apply. Uh, we really need animators. <laughs> <laughs> well, other than the dagger, I feel like I was made a fool of. There's nothing <laughs> behind that locked door except cave in. So, in my embarrassment, I say we go elsewhere. Yeah, the wheel. perfect. The wheel. 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 Slab, fire go, slab, oh fire go. Oh come boy, on, oh come boy. on. Ashlander camps. Ashlander camps. Oh, oh that's boy. Nice. Okay, so all four Ashlander camps are currently done, and we've worked really hard to give each of them their own feeling. Um, the Arab and Insum are more warlike, the Zainab are more mercantile, and other cultural elements are something that we really wanted to reflect. Because in Vanilla Morrowind, yeah, it was kind of there, but we felt like it could be a little bit more distinct. Uh, please keep in mind that our Ashlander clothing has not been finished yet. We do have concepts for each cultural 
uh, garb, but at this time, uh, some of them will be wearing other clothing. But yeah, check it out. Hear the voice acting. Hear how they sound different from the usual Dunmer. Also, again, he here has voice hashtag, acting, but at the next hashtag one. Hashtag not a meme. If you're a 3D artist who enjoys making clothing, please apply. We have over 100 uh, uh, clothing pieces left to be done in 3D, so we need you, please. Please, also, if you're a tailor, come talk to me. Yeah. Also, I just want to say one thing I love is, you know, because they live out here in these wastes where trees are, you know, dead and brittle. Uh, most of their construction relies on, you know, bug parts from silt striders or other giant insects, such as, you know, here you can see they use the shell of a silt strider for uh, storage, for keeping it protected from the ash, or sort of fencing. I just think that's a great little storytelling detail. You know what would be really good contrast? What? Maybe we can get another Ashlander camp in here, just to show how they're different from each other. Okay. Oh, this, is a, this is a great uh, scene to end... Uh, Arab and Imsum on this wonderful, what looks almost like a sacrificial altar. Yeah, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Beautiful. Blood Let's go everywhere. Zynab, Skulls, I think. Bones. Yeah, Zynab. Let's visit the Zynab to have a good contrast. While we're teleporting to Zynab, uh, it might be cool. It's, it's not nighttime here, but uh, back in the other camp, you could see the light coming through the tents, actually. The tents have sub uh, subsurface scattering on them. So you can That's see the awesome. campfires inside. Hey, UCM, could you make it night? Uh, oh. With some we magic. That, huh? Why not? We can see the tents being beautiful. I think 10,000 is better. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the time pass by. Look at your bodies going frail. Stop. Perfect. Okay. All right, now we have uh... Yo, this looks great at night. I've never been here. Oh, and we oh, have the lightning oh, flash. Nice. Uh, oh, everyone be quiet. You can hear the uh, the Ashlanders talking. Oh, the subtitle's gone. But uh, the Ashlanders do speak Dunmiris now. That's something. Yeah, we'll talk about that subtitle. I was just hoping that. Uh, Are you lost, clearly. Outlander? Do you need a healer or a trader? He is the mightiest champion and greatest Ashkan of all the Ashlander tribes. A very great man. You should talk to him. He is a very curious man, always speaking with traders and travelers about the news of the world. Go ahead. Our great chief does not stand on ceremony. You may enter his yurt if you are clean and courteous. So yeah, here you can see the, the contrast between the warlike Arabenismun, Arab I'm good at this, and the Zainab, <laughs> which are way more open to Outlander also. They won't kill you on site. Um, and also way more easy to speak the name of. Yes, yes, much more easy. And, and spell for me. Oh, true. Um, That's the wise one. Uh, maybe we seen should. Two of the four yeah. camps. Shall we head back to the wheel? In yeah, in the interest wheel. of time, we need to spin the wheel. Spin the, the wheel. wheel. Give the Do people it. everything we can. What are we Do in it. next? Slap far off. Slap far off. Slap far off. Mm. So, so close. close. Sedrith Mora. So close to Sedrith so, so Slapping far off. Sedrith Mora, yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, we did show our Tefani uh, architecture beforehand, but since this is a mixed kind of convention, we thought, hey, we can show some of our most beautiful tile sets again. No one's heard by that. And uh, we are g again going to use this for a bit of voice acting show off because we have absolutely lovely. Oh, and it's night. It's beautiful. Okay, I'll keep it at night. Um, it looks very good with the thunderstorm, honestly. Um, Actually, we're how, going to how visit... does it look for the, the audience? Should, does oh, it that's need true. to be lighter? Audience, audience, come on. Do you want day or do you want night? Give us give us your opinions. We'll be on a delay. Uh, to be I fair. know there's a delay. So, that's true. But we can change well it forward. on the fly. Yeah, move, move along. Um, yeah, we're going to visit two more voice oh, actors. And again, we are moving through Compromise. the city now, and you will immediately see that the city has nav been nav-meshed. So characters are actually moving around, there are interactions, they're talking with each other. Uh, there's a completely different ride from, from like an un-nav-meshed un place.
And again, and... we're looking for clothing arches. <laughs> That's just what I was gonna say. <laughs> okay, sorry. I wonder why what are you doing here? A on Would the you let this one go free? You wanna go free? No. There is no hope for us. And don't ask. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Slap him. Oh. Okay, it's <laughs> fair. Put a delayed recall yeah, so our Telvani tech, or in another whoa, hour, Telvani the architecture is a pretty big right into the holding um, cell. I think uh, whoever did it way back in the day did a really, really good job. Can, can we and pan level up and show off some mushrooms? Shape. Yeah, absolutely. Also, there in the background, you can see the tiny bit. There's Telnaga, um, also a fan favorite with Master Nelov sitting in it. Good old Nelov. For if anyone who might not be me? totally acquainted with Morrowind, uh, this is the Telvanni territory full of wizard lords who grow their own towers and settlements with mushrooms. I see from your outfit that you have wealth and taste. Can I help you? I tell you, this peak star, the temple says she's dead. So how could she be the Nera Varine if she's dead? Don't know. And because I don't know, let's leave it up to chance. Back to oh, the wheel. And the wheel. Uh, when in doubt, spin the wheel. Huh? Spin the how wheel. How many more do we have left? <laughs> one, two. What do you I'm say? One more. Ooh, so close. Ooh. Oh, so, so close. close to Vivek's oh. dude. I'm so sorry, Chad. <laughs> Again, it's not rigged. It's <laughs> pure chance. We promise. We promise. All right, so we showed off Vivic City two years ago at ModCon, and also a little bit last year. I was um, going to say, it's it's probably our most common spot at this point. Yeah, there's so much that we've shown it off, uh, except for uh, the sewers. I don't think we've ever shown off the sewers on video before. We uh, have not. That is kind of new-ish. Uh, but it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty stinky down here. It's pretty nice all, at the same time. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I hope you can all, all appreciate the smell right now. We've in chat. Oh, oh god. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is one that's particularly faithful to the original layout of Morrowind, but also you can just, the feeling is so much better. You have the running water going on, you have that dark, musty smell, the lantern lights. Like it all, it all comes together. And yes, I, I can smell it. Which one is this, you see? I'm, uh, this sure. is the Halalu, the filthy Halalu sewers. You didn't have to add that slate to it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm talking about just being descriptive. Voice actors, okay? Very appropriate. <laughs> just being descriptive. But, okay, we'll, we'll show some nicer Halalu things, such as their uh, uh, filthy canal works. Man. Oh and then man. we'll show the filthy uh, waste works. And then the filthy plaza. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Telvani player coming out. <laughs> yeah, you're you're lucky you're driving the game, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Next year I I swear I, I call dibs on commentation commentary. <laughs> Even though I just flubbed the word commentary. You're doing great, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're a great driver, don't worry. Man, fishing for compliments, oh, success. Nice. So yes, have you shown off uh wasteworks before? Not, I think maybe some like still images, but not uh, live. Yeah, not in video. Yeah, not Beautiful talk. little mosaics up on the I ceiling. I right always love those. Yeah, so just uh, like, do it six. Uh, okay, just like the exterior, uh, the interiors of Vivic City are completely modular, and uh, each one is going to look different. This one, for example, Lalu. They're they're doing Lalu things, I guess. I'm sure I don't know. this is important, uh, but, uh, but I really must the, go. Wasteworks just shaped, they're shaped differently. Also, the ceiling is a specific color to house Lalu. Uh, that way, at a glance, you can kind of say, oh, I'm in the Lalu Canton, or oh, I'm in the Redoran Canton. Of course, the Redoran Canton is red and so on and so forth. Guys, if we hurry, we can do one more spin. Do we have right. one then? One more spin. Why not? Why one not? One more spin. We gotta put all our money one down on. Spin. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> it's not to make the dude, but it's still good. Trust me, guys. <laughs> so.
sorry. Um, <laughs> so, um, Caldera is one of our older settlements as well. However, along with the um, Imperial Fort tile set, we have a very special hero piece, which would be the Governor's Hall, which has been able to finally complete Caldera. So, looks really great. Uh, Zix, fantastic work, my friend. Um, oh, thanks. Yes, yes. Thank you for your great service. <laughs> We're coming close <laughs> on time here, so it's a little... Yeah, we're going close on time. Come on, come on. <laughs> uh, quick, get your compliments in now. Good job, Zix. I love you, Zix. Good job, Zix. You're the best. Oh, stop. Welcome That's not what you. I meant. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, hey, everyone. Uh, hmm. We're getting close to time. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. And no meme hashtag. We need clothing artists. We need animators. Uh, we need file cutters. And we need enough measures. So if any of those things are up to you, are you think, uh, consider applying, please. Yeah. I'm begging yeah. you. Tune for the Q&A after... Is it after this? Right after this? Yes, yeah. right after right this. Right after this. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. And uh, thank you. may the wheel be with you. Yeah, it's been a pleasure, oh, y'all. Bye-bye. Bye. Want to see what the other mods are up to? Head on over to Creation ModCon's YouTube channel at Creation ModCon and check out the full stream. Or if you fancy it, stick around, hang out with the team, kick back, and enjoy Skywind's ModCon after party. Hello, hello, friends. Howdy. Hello, guys. How's it going? Hey, everyone. Welcome to the ModCon after party. I, I guess we're mm -hmm. we're just like uh, hanging around for a little bit, yeah, celebrating just, our ModCon just, victory. We we're just wanted to show you, more. yeah, the yeah. <laughs> wheel is actually not wigged. It is not weighted. Uh, it, it is, is weighted. weighted. It is. It is definitely weighted. Oh, yeah, true. It's obviously um, weighted. Well, <laughs> in the sense that some things have a larger slice than others, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, we never did touch any of the uh, the little ones. The favorite testing hall, Telfear, something terribly broken. Yeah, I thought we would hit like uh, at least one. <laughs> I'm surprised yeah, it didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of funny because in in testing we always hit at least one of those, if not all. Which it's very funny that it didn't happen on streams this time. Yeah, fate didn't want it. Well, if you put them together. Like if you add those small slices up, it it about amounts to like a Balmora sized one. Yeah, I think that's true. That's pretty funny. Do you want a spin of wheel? <laughs> oh yeah, I guess I should do that. <laughs> yeah, Oop. good. Whoop. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, some behind the it scenes grew. stuff. We we use what is this? This is just a web application that we use it's for the wheel. It's literally pickerwheel dot com. <laughs> yeah. We just made a fancy overlay for it. It turned out pretty nice. Uh, it has like our colors yeah. built in, which is kind of slick. Not gonna lie, right? <laughs> and yeah, like like Nell said, we also you know she made a um overlay. Uh, an overlay that had out all the the little buttons on the side or the name, you know, picker wheel, all that stuff. Yeah, I don't have the OBS stream. Uh, uh, Scene because UCM was streaming to the ModCon one, but uh, we had like our main menu wheel in the uh, background, I guess, uh, flanking yeah. all sides of the wheel. I should have taken a photo of my setup because it was. I have it's three ridiculous. monitors, <laughs> one of which was one of which was Skywind. The middle one was Skywind. The left one was devoted entirely to the wheel. And the right one was OBS, uh, a cheat sheet of all of our locations and discord and then i also had a laptop next to me which had uh, uh the cmc schedule and the actual live oh stream God. so i could check chat you got a so laptop had... too yeah I had those <laughs> four screens between them between them that's so funny dang uh, do you want to go to the desert room do you want to do yeah. the shtick i'll post sure, it in the, i guess uh... there you go what did you post? No, Zix needs to start. No, Zix post? needs what to you start. Post? Skywind. What do we do? Wait, what? <laughs> well, well. Oh, do I, I have to start Skywind? Oh. Yeah, okay. well, I was gonna say you're the one streaming. We, I'm the sorry. One you want me? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Doing sorry. This, 
Doing, doing this via, via Discord would be terrible mm -hmm. for the audience. No, I'm, I'm like, sitting here and I'm like, yeah, Discord. yeah, like, let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you can see we saved all of our professionalism for the uh, the yeah. actual presentation. We've got my very professional get, script here. Uh, now you get the, the adrenaline dr drunk. Uh, yeah, basically. Yeah, the adrenaline um, drunk victory behind the scenes thing. Of us not falling for any, oh, someone's microphone is muted or someone dropping out or anything awkward. <laughs> oh, we also yes, replaced definitely. Argyle with uh, 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 Blue. an alternate, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Hi, I'm Argyle's replacement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the better Argyle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cooler Argyle. Nah, Blue did, yeah, uh, I, I... he was part of the ModCon 2022. Uh, presentation yeah. too. Who was there last? Yeah. Very last minute, also. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I was there for some support. And support you did. Yeah, yeah, if you guys can't tell, this is a very last minute decision to do like an after party sort of thing. I suggested it as a meme like a couple days ago, but uh, I, I guess we're actually doing and it. We decided to decide we to decided do it. To actually, do it. Yeah. I can't wait till we get a fuller version of the logo. A fuller version of the logo? Yeah, I think it's gonna. Yeah. Wasn't Egret saying redo this logo here for right here? Well, like, he, I think he was talking it, about but... my stream, wasn't he? Or, or... Oh, was he? Okay. Oh, I, I have no idea. I, I thought he's no gonna. Idea also. Yeah, I thought the the 3D model there was gonna get updated, not like redesigned or anything, but maybe. I don't know. I could be spreading bullshit. Oh, I, I've been I hearing no that idea. for a couple of years now. <laughs> so... That's what, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, it's I'm, not very, the I'm very priority, proud. But... I'm very proud that he didn't like promise a, a DLC to anyone or something like that. Today, like, <laughs> yeah, this is great. <laughs> See, I'm still catching flack. Match title. Yeah, okay. it will never go away. Like that's very. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to add the game audio. Hopefully, the game audio. Uh, where where are we going? What should I do? Do a shall um... we run shrine? Can you spell it for me? I, I don't have Discord up. I'm so sorry. B-U-S-H. U-S-H. A-R-I-R. I-R. A-N. A-N. Shrine. Okay. All lame. We already spun. We're now going to the Daedric Ruins. Yeah, so we spun once already. We're still spinning. We're kind of kind of addicted to spinning. <laughs> like, it's a lot of fun. It's so fun. It's, yeah. it's ridiculously I'm fun. I'm convinced that we need to do a part two as well. Like, like I guess, I guess this is kind I of a part two. But... I, I think we should do it just, like, on our own terms, not the... Yeah, that'd be great. Is the audio actually running on OBS? Oh, this is really loud. Hang on. I have it muted so I don't have to listen to my own awful voice. Yeah, there's sound, there's sound, don't worry. The scat cat will never stop spinning. Will never stop. Will never stop spinning, no. Here's our beautiful character. I never this named the character. Zixet? I never named Zixetl. the character. There's no name. Yeah. Zixet? Zixet, yeah. Zixena. Oh god. Thank okay, you, hold on. Let me let me pull up switch on the other side so I have. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hey. Hey, you nice. I really like the setup because it's just very, like, just coming together nicely for the character. But it's very funny. Oh shit. Uh, so oh yeah, this, right. This, this is, is one of the. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. 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 I'm not sure what he's wearing. Yeah, it's a Skyrim one. Uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be a thing. But, uh, it's up to this protection value. Why are people not wearing Skyrim? Also, kids are open. You can do it. It's very loud. I'm so sorry. Yeah, Hold on, let me turn it down. Yeah, I think they're saying the game music mm -hmm. and sound is quite loud. Thanks, Gate Gate. We're glad it went well. How's it now? Is it okay? Oh my Jesus. Hold on, it's still a little loud. Let me turn it down. Bit lower uh, again. A bit lower, a bit lower. Hey, how's this? How's this? 
Is he, this this is about how loud the music is usually on like Spotify or whatever. Maybe maybe the ogrim is just especially loud. Now they say it's pretty low. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it! God damn it! <laughs> can, you do, can you do anything right? Oh my god! I'll be in between. Has has the sense. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> that's, not, that's not what I wanted to have happen. <laughs> They've said perfecto in chat. Okay, cool. Perfecto. I, I have okay. I have to turn myself down real quick, so I gotta alt tab in a minute. Whenever this is done loading so it doesn't crash. Uh feed feed forum maybe the VOD is being scaled by YouTube, like it's being being saved or something, so that's what might only be now. It Arcane. also might have gotten Arcane. split into three, just because what we did was Arcane was stripped of it. I streamed it during the uh, during our segment, and then I think Arcane streamed it again during the Q and A and all that. So yeah. technically, those were three streams that we just handed off to each other very quietly in the background. But uh, dis uh, not Discord, YouTube might might be splitting them up into three different VODs. Yeah, but all all know. content will be will be uploaded. We will also upload our own VOD to our own Skyrim YouTube, and the whole VOD will be available on ModCon too. So if you if you missed it, don't worry. Yeah, it'll all be up on all the places hopefully. Hello, yeah. Mr. Q. Thank you for coming to the after party where we're not sure what we're doing, but we're just spinning the wheel because it's yeah. fun. Okay, we're back. We're back. It's we're like back. slot machines for us. Yes. It is. <laughs> Never know what comes out at the end. See, the nav meshers did work that was too good because the ogrim killed me. <laughs> you need to, need to whip your boys for that. I was going to say, send it back. Is that some piercing one? He needs a nipple piercing if he doesn't have one. I think he does. I, I know hate, he doesn't. I hate I the can nipple piercing. It. Well, it's very important to their culture or something. Yeah, but I still hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him running. <laughs> He's like jumping the fields. Like he looks so happy. Yeah, he's skipping through flowers. Oh, come on, Zix, you can do it. Just because you're unleveled. I can barely kill this thing. <laughs> I mean, what we actually wanted to show off here is how many times UCM can be. Squished by, uh, by, by, by a trap. Yeah, we'll see. The COC location's a little different than, uh... It has a 50-50 chance of being ported to the entry or right next to the Ogrim, which is very funny. Mm -hmm. This is very loud. Hey, look, your light armor increased the trails. Nice. Good job. You nearly have it. Yes, do it. Damn, what a, what a chat to six that guy. You did it, you fell the ogre. Good now job. you can take over his swamp. Who that, who that? Hey, what's up? Hey. Hello. Hey, Lork, Lord just Lord as a warning, we're live on Twitch. You know. You're live, nice. That's cool. Yeah. Yes. You are also yeah. live on Twitch now, that's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want me to leave? Or I can just chill here. Please no, you me. can chill. You yeah. can totally no, no. chill with us. I just wanted to tell you that you are being yeah, streamed yeah. to our two yeah. th thousands of euros, obviously. If not millions at this point. Yeah, trillions, my god. There's at least five. All, Actually, all of, has there all of ever India's been a Twitch spread. streamer that's had a million concurrent viewers? What's the record, I wonder? Oh, I'm, <laughs> oh yeah, uh, the, the speedrun thing, AGDQ, they had, they had millions of views, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. Okay. I think so, yeah. The good like old UCM says feet form. Uh -huh. what, what did I say? I, what did I do? What did you do? Oh god, UCM. I mean, I'll, I'll take the compliment, because I'm desperate for praise, but why? Where did that book go? Oh, Joy posted in chat. Oh, the, Joy, uh, Joy is the fact. Pulls the current viewers. 3.3 <laughs> million. Oh. Dang. No, I don't. Hey, creative oh, look at this one. event. Oh, dang. I, I think I heard about that. Hey, Never that's one of it. my books. Look at that. Oh, did you draw this? I drew yeah. that, yeah. Is there oh, any I... more in here? 
No, only one. I went, I went oh. more, I went more with books yesterday to draw art for it, and I'm just sitting there like I, I do not feel this <laughs> book. I have no idea what to draw for it, and I'm just. Uh, sometimes it's hard to illustrate books. I think someone is up here and it's making the music go wild. Oh. Oh, there he is. There's a likely a flame match knock up there, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah but this, that guy's upstairs. Get out of here. It's so funny how extremely different the spins this time were cons c compared to like our test spins, because in the test spins we always showed up like the Atronax. Or like, like, the yeah, like something else came up every time and this time it was very architecture focused for some reason. Very interesting. Uh, I can't wait until the Atronex will, um, the, the new ones are implemented. It's gonna look cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's something I wanted to say, like, on the ModCon stream, that even though, even though we are currently using, like, the placeholders from Skyrim, we will have our own designs. But the wheel didn't want it. <laughs> the wheel said no. The wheel said no. No trivia from you, slap slap. I don't know what this thing is. Not far off, slap getting that slapped. That is getting slapped. a magic trap. Yeah. It's oh, one of the traps. okay. I think, um, if, if, I think if, they're not finished, though. I think, I don't know if they have scripting attached to him. Oh, either. all right. Gotcha, gotcha. No, Joy is Uncle Cheesy Cracker. Uh, Uncle Cheesy <laughs> Mustard. Sorry, Uncle Cheesy Mustard. Sorry. Uh, anyway, this was one of the locations that we I could have rolled on the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. has come to stand for here. <laughs> yeah, you see him? Do you want to speed, oh. spin the wheel again? And Check then this we out. Can see. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's really cool. cool. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this, hold is on, cool. hold on. this is cool. Check uh, this yeah, out. This yeah. is so cool. Check this. This is just a totally innocuous door, uh, right? Oh, this door. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's so cool. That's, that's a really, really cool trap. I love that trap. Uh, it, yeah. feels so, <laughs> it feels so organic. Like, there are ten tentacles coming out there. Like, there's, there's a being on the other side. And it's like, I don't want my tentacles to be squished. So I, like, turn the back. It's so good. Have you, have you guys seen some of the crazy traps that never got into Skyrim that were in the concept art? No. no. Yeah, they were crazy. Well, there's, the Nordic ruin, I know. there's one really funny one where it's like a cage falls on top of you and then these funnels come out of the ceiling and like like a, uh, a dozen of rats are dropped on top of you. It's like oh, really... <laughs> I gotta find some of them. That's oh, amazing. Shit. Oh yeah, now we could spin the wheel. Yeah, so as you... Uh, so the... Six, you need to switch over to UCM now. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's I'm sorry. I was having fun. We like some... Stop having fun, dude. <laughs> That's a meme production. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> That's how I feel every time someone brings up the... UCM, give me the wheel, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Not all bad. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's how, it's how I feel. No, no, you can, you can put it back up if you want. No, uh... <laughs> Actually, I should probably watch it. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Skeever trap, that's hilarious. Quama mines. Which one did you have in mind, sir? Um, uh, yeah, which one should I teleport to? COC Shulk, S H U L K, egg mines. Uh. Uh, RDS, we removed the no Vivek. Op the, the Vivek the dude option was absolutely 100% legged, like on the ModCon stream, but we will not use it on Twitch right now, no. Everything else is okay, yeah. but it would, would only be like absolutely fade when, when it would have hit there Jeez. officially. Oh. I think one day people hmm? are going to see the awesome Vivek and Degather. <laughs> like one, one day. day. No, we, will never, one day. We, we will never show Deck of Ur like for PR material that will all, always stay in game, but one day we will release and then people will meet him. Well, yeah. P as as uh, I guess unsatisfying as it may sound, you know, I just I just gotta add the salt into wound. Like they look insanely <laughs> good. They look, they look so good. I you feel really cool. bad that you guys don't see it. You are a monster. <laughs> And Lokator yeah, is like so... a con connoisseur of Morrowind. He really, he really seen it all. So if you guys I haven't it. figured it out, uh, the the Vivek the dude option was indeed legitimate. 
However, we're not going to like unceremoniously share him just on an after party stream. Uh, yeah. we, we think that's not doing him justice. Our, but our I just plan think was if we'd uh, if we had landed on Vivek the dude during the modcon stream, we would not have gone to him immediately, but we would have gone to it when uh, Arcane, you know, the host and the you know showrunner of the modcon, you know. We had about two minutes left. We would have, uh, yeah, we would have shown there. Again. It would have been the finale. That's it would have been so cool too. It was really sweet having it as like a risk on there because it's kind of one of those things where it's like it went through but I mean, a lot of discussion <laughs> internally of do we want to include it? Yeah, yeah. I, th I think uh, Vivek eventually will be a fair game for PR. Like I don't think like um, yeah. Yeah. eventually. Yeah. Absolutely. Next, next modcon, next modcon we show or something. In Vivek, yes. Dagothar, no. For no, yeah, yeah, or never. Yeah. Dagothar, or never. Like oh, he, you will need to play the game. I don't have the him. hotfix. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you have to play the hotfix. <laughs> I don't have the hotfix. Oh shit. <laughs> How dare you? I mean, what we really wanted to show here is the Kramas because they finally are rigged. So we really wanted to yeah, show a lot think. of animation, but none of the animation uh, pieces came up. They are partially rigged. Partially that rigged. Is, that is kind We're of sad. Done yet. The uh, animation stuff, the creatures. I mean, we showed the one uh, Kwama in the Grayslands. But other than where, that... Where is... Do they still have bear sounds? Is that what yes. I'm hearing? They yes, do they still have bear like sounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look Form. at him! No, look at the little penis. I hate him. Kill him. <laughs> Guys, guys, you guys, fell through the... <laughs> guys, are you proud of me for not, for not saying happening? that he's a little penis on stream? I was very proud of him. I fully expected it, if I'm honest yeah. with you. I know, and I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm full of surprises. Yeah, he does kind of look phallic. I hate that motion. <laughs> he's just playing Limbo. Yeah. Like, cute guy. Yeah, so these creatures are very, very extremely heavily in progress at the moment. <laughs> As yeah, you can see. Hence this. <laughs> What's oh. he doing? Oh, there he goes. I did remove the uh, yeah. not Kwama Queen for the yeah. the showcase. We we actually have uh, someone, for, like an animator, working on these right now, and the animation looks great. Like, they Thank look you. great with proper mm -hmm. animation, but right now they're only wigged in quotations. They're made, textured, skinned, and rigged, but they're not animated yet. Yeah, animators are something that we're really, really looking for. Hashtag uh, not because... a meme, we need animators. Yeah, hashtag not a meme. Because this is just one creature, right? We have several creatures that are in this state where, you know, we have them, they're in. They're not polished. Eh, really. And really hypothetically, polished. the more animators we have, probably the less we will need to use our stock Skyrim stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, we already have an uncomfortable long list of uh, needed animations, so we need animators. Megalo Bros there saying we want more creatures. <laughs> yeah. Megalo Bros. Is there you're... a warrior in there this one? There should be a warrior here. Right? You see him? There should be. There should be. You need to find it at all. I'm looking, I'm looking. Lots of little penises. <laughs> yeah. Look at them. So one thing around. one thing that's pretty obvious about animation not being finished is the ragdoll animations, right? Yeah. So I mean, we, we are really... streaming. Yes, yes, I know. I was just popping in okay. to say howdy. Howdy. Oh, there's yeah. a warrior. Hopefully, I don't die. There it is. Argo just had like radio voice straight up, <laughs> like uh, like a host. Look at him! Look at him! I still have my uh, my it voice acting microphone off. plugged in from doing the earlier stream. That's perfect. <laughs> nice. Uh, that gave me an ASMR vibe. It was pretty good. <laughs> Considering they don't have <laughs> custom animations, I think the Chroma Warrior already look pretty good, to be honest. Yes. Like doing this head head thing and just like rushing at you, that's kind of cool. They what is it currently good. rigged to? Like, be troll, because oh. it's using troll, troll? sound effects. Nice troll. troll, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, yes. a troll. it's kind of um, funny the way he punches, though. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the troll animations were never, other than some weird monkey like 
stuff. The troll is always kind of goofy looking, to, I thought. Yo. In its animation. Yo, Mickey. Here for yeah, the Mickey after party. in the chat now. Oh, hey there. Lunch. Dude. What's up, man? Forget about Hell the yeah. Falcon Punch. Party. We have the troll punch here. I don't know what that thing is. We're going through the west rest of the wheel. Yeah. Well, not the west, well, but we're doing a few spins, yeah. So, if you it's look at the comma on. warrior, the warrior is... But it's a it's a forager inside of a worker body, so they actually ride the carcass of the worker like a mech. It's so sick, dude. Yeah, it's very cool. Like also you can just you can see the tail coming yeah, up. Yeah, from the behind end. you can see the tail. It's super cool. It's like like a little <laughs> Evangelion pilot. Yeah. <laughs> Shinji, you need to to pilot the, the Kwama. Pilot the robot. Pilot the Kwama. Yeah. Mickey D. Get in the robot. The wheel is great. Already built a shine to it. Good. Welcome to the one true religion. Thank you, Gitchiver. <laughs> we also enjoyed the, the showcase a lot. It was very much fun. Yeah, it was. It's it's so handy being able to just teleport all over the place instead of just having to make a, a, a route. It's very, yeah. very yeah. good yeah, for yeah, showing honestly. off stuff. Last year we spent a lot of time working out like, all right, how do we get hey, from A to wait, B to did, did we just B. walk by a scrib? Sorry, I thought we yeah. just... I remember earlier we said we didn't have those. This this is a placeholder script. Oh, yeah, this is not ours. This is the yeah, one from Dragonborn. Dragonborn. The Dragonborn, uh, yeah. I think it's an Ash Hopper from Dragonborn. Okay, well, my apologies then for interrupting yeah. for the, for no, the no, Ash no, Hopper. No, no, no. How dare you? We have a script that looks essentially one-to-one -to, -one to Morrowind, just really nice. I think he's so cute. <laughs> yeah, it's not in game yet. Hashtag we need more animators. Uh, um, no, we do Amy. not have hit chance, uh, yes. Cami FC. It's just, uh... That's this guy, skill, like... Skill issue. Skill issue? <laughs> oh, yeah. Skill issue on the pilot. Yes. Shinji. Yeah. <laughs> um, Six just missing. Oh, yeah, I'm just missing the scrib. I was missing their hitbox, that's all. <laughs> Yo, you guys um, want to spin? Sure. Yeah, let's spin. Spin, let's spin, let's spin, let's... Spinach. Last, Spinach. Last, last thing before we leave, the Quamba Mines look so sick. They have these like custom cave assets that are yeah, like goopy. They're just, they're just, I love them. They're just built out of leftovers from Quamas. It's great. Yeah, they're really sweet. Disgusting. Yeah, um, as for Wee. spell chance, I believe that's also a no. It certainly is not oh, spell chance did that right now, and I really don't think there's an intention to the slap paragraph is getting bigger and bigger yeah uh spell chance <laughs> in, in terms of just calculating whether you know it actually works each time you fire it is probably a no but there are some spells that might be rebalanced to where the effect might have a chance depending on what we decide to do yeah you, you, Tim, you need to tell zix where he needs to go he would just oh, yeah, where we going? I, was, I was waiting for I, I know i know i was waiting for people right, to sorry. talk about you know Fair. Uh, we put down Solvel, yeah, Ancestral Tomb. Okay, I remember that one, actually. A little yes. bit, kind of. Oh, yes. Yeah, we wanted to oh, show, we didn't get to show talk about some Solvel. magic here. No, we didn't. It's crazy. Hold on. I, I have a black bar at the bottom of Skywind. I'm going to get rid of that. Luck is not that important in Skywind. What does luck handle? I think, like, mild damage. It increases your odds for every skill, like your, your chance for success. Yeah, it's the same thing as. OG, right? Or... I'm not entirely sure what luck does. I bet. Does it affect your um We haven't gone loot? into balancing we haven't gone into balancing yet, so there's a good chance that no one knows what it does yet because we haven't decided yet. As a caveat to everybody watching, I don't think any of us here are on the coding team. So yeah. Yeah. the answers you no, get from us are not. gonna be dubious at best. My, my, last, my last information is that coding is going to handle like attributes and balancing next year. Well, attributes so are we, good. Don't you, yeah, the certain degree, but balancing it overall will be... Whoa, look at you. Intelligence 200, I love that. Yeah, I, so I, I think <laughs> I remember Thermo mentioning that the attributes were planned out and were planned out to be pretty balanced, um, each of them. And some of them were, uh, have been changed up a little bit to uh, account for, you know, not taking in, you know, like hit chance and stuff, but... Oh. And I'm I mean, not fully implemented yet. Whoa. This is just That's me all... talking alone, mm -hmm. not as a representative of Skyrim. I mean, I always thought luck was useless anyway as an attribute. Oh. I thought it was a waste of space. Oh. You never use it, and it barely. It's, its impact is <laughs> boiling. Boiling hot take there. <laughs> also, I someone don't think asked so. if. Holding hot. 
Someone asked if our to tombs are going to be different depending on which house person is buried there, or which house some some tomb belongs to, and they aren't like the tile sets are all shared. But of course, uh, the level designers can clutter to their heart's delight. So we will definitely, for example, I know that the Halalu tomb is like just stacked with goods and riches, and there's tapestry of Halalu all over the place. So each tomb will have their own their own clutter and their own treasury depending on which. Which house yeah. it belongs to, or which house it's as associated with. And I know for like Redoran, I've worked on a couple of Redoran tombs, and those tend to have more in the way of armor, or weaponry, as as loot compared to like Dal said, Halalu, which is much more um, mercantile. riches, mercantile mm -hmm. sort of loot. Uh, but yes, yeah, so this is uh, Solville. It's one of our bigger tombs. It's definitely the biggest one I did. Um, it's host to what I think is the single most obscure quest in the entire original game. Is this is the only tomb inside of the ghost fence. It's on the opposite side of Red Mountain from the ghost gate. So you already probably aren't going to be going there much. And even once you get there, if you get to the end of it, you have to be a vampire in order to get the quest from the vampire that's locked behind a door in the very bottom of the, the tomb. So the idea is that he's been trapped there by Azura for hundreds of years. He has no idea how long it's been. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe a week, who knows. Uh, but so in our imagining, he is, you know, Azura being magical and all, has a force field, you can't get in. It was a perfect sort of defense, but uh, if you go back six... Uh, is this a Newton thing? The Newton no. thing? You see, I made this. this. Oh, did you do this? Yeah, I think I'm the thing I'm looking at specifically. <laughs> yeah, I did do that. Okay, okay. <laughs> that, um, but yeah, the centuries of geological activity, the wall has broken down, and you know now you can get through the uh, uh, through a lava cave into the dungeon proper, which you know Azura didn't count on, and lets you potentially rescue this vampire. Rescue. Yeah, Risky, he says. Uh, so for fun, you can if you look to the left real quick. Just I just like this detail, uh, sort of the outside of the tomb that wasn't, you know, intended for people to see, but I just like that structural for, detail. Structural also, detail, yeah. Also, yeah. in in chat, Shahid said, "Oh, this will make uh, exploring tombs in quotations much more interesting." I, I'm already telling you. Our level designers went absolutely insane in regards to the tombs. I already said this last year, but honestly, each tomb is so elaborate. Like, it's not just a hallway and a big room and you steal stuff. No, there are traps now. There are riddles now. Like, each fucking tomb is, is a challenge now. It's completely insane how much how much more oh. involvement you now get with the tombs. Um, you, will, you, will, you will get your ass handed if you just go in there like, haha, I will just take something and leave you. You will not survive that. <laughs> like there is well, the so, more, ones, so much more engaging. Maybe some small ones. Unlike Morrowind, they can follow you through doors. Oh yeah, that also. <laughs> also, uh, yeah, just also. a little safe spot. I think. I think I might have a skill. I don't know. Huh? Um, just that little alcove that Zix was in. Oh. Um, do I have anything to fight these guys? I do. This is very strong. Damage shot is very strong. Yikes. And again, we will have our own Atronax. They're just being developed right now, but they are on the way. Yeah, Megalobro in chat is currently working on our Atronax. And the Fire Atronax. And the uh, Fire Atronax and the Frost Atronax are already designed. Uh, we're just waiting on the Storm Atronax, and then we're good to go. So if you look to the left here, um, that little doorway. So one thing I also try to do is make uh, uh, parts of the dungeon fit for different uh, play styles. So if you have levitation or jump or just a high enough, you know, jump uh, acrobatics attribute, you can probably make that jump. For our our situation, we just have uh, levitation. Oh. Oh, or slow oh, fall to go down jump. there. There's also a little bit of extra dungeon down there. 
Where are we going? Which way are we going? Uh, your choice, honestly. Dealer's oh, choice. I just fell. Okay, we're going this way. All right, cool. Nice. <laughs> it's an adventure yeah. now. I'm going down, slowly. Yes. Very I'm going slowly. down. The lava effect is so nice. Uh, where's the dungeon down here? Or is this it? Uh, this is... Yeah, you, you want to lay it oh, on Oh, sorry, the I thought there was a path down form. here, my bad. No, there is. Oh, there is? Yeah. If you, uh... Hold on, I gotta beat these people up first. Beat them up, man, beat them up. Those people. I have to use oh, my man. skills. We still have the stream character. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It was Zeke's idea anyway, like he sent his ESP to, to uh, UCM. Well, I, was, I asked for a, a loadout. Yeah. Or a, I, I said, make make someone who looks great. And this, this is what he landed on. What do you mean? Are you saying they're not great? <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. She's got the face of an angel. I think she's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. I'm also trying not to guide you because I'm very curious, like how uh, how well it's actually tests. a little bit. Yes, yeah. this is a free <laughs> play test for me, guys. This is live QA. You're you're in it now. Yeah. Chat, make notes. This is very important for the test later. Okay. Damn it! I yeah. sapped my intelligence by five. How? Why? I ate grave dust. I'm sorry. Mm. Sorry, Mom, it was so tasty. <laughs> I think this your intelligence is already so well corpse. below five if you're eating grave dust. <laughs> <laughs> we have really good looking lava, I think. Oh, I know where I am now. Oh, yeah? Forbidden fun dip, says Mobius. Mobius, do you should be ashamed of yourself, but also that's hilarious. I'm, I'm very sad we couldn't show off during the streams the Azura bathwater. Game of Air Force. Good meme. <laughs> well, I mean, we have we have the chance now. Yeah, that's true. Should good. we use should we use that chance? Six we could eight. also go back to the Gravelands. We didn't show off much of it. Oh, you want to go? We can also go south to the Gravelands. Mm -hmm. Good, good. I like these effects that you added here. This is oh, thank you. Quite a lot. And the sounds too. I thank hope you. the sounds are coming through. See, I know where I am now. Ah, yes. Yeah. I remember this. So yeah, at this point, this is sort of going with that um, infrastructure that you we mentioned earlier when we first got into the cave. This is underneath sections of the tomb. Like, above us right now are actually parts of the dungeon that we can get into in a little bit. Also, oh, Candy asked, can you turn up the us. sound effect volumes? Yeah, let's see if I can do that. I believe in the Zix that can. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> I believe that in the second chat will say, too low, too low, too low. Oh yeah, the skeletons I think are really resistant, if not outright immune to frost. Yeah, I made a bad mistake with my loadout here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Shoot. What? What? What's up? Did you see that? No. I'm not sure what I'm seeing. I was holding a spell in my hand, but it was the sword. Oh. Typical Havoc bug. Typical Havoc bug, yeah. Very common, interesting. Typical old Havoc bug. Common creation uh, engine L. Let's just use... Where's the fire one for the weapon? I don't weapons? Know. Oh, Scorching Weapon, there we go. Yeah, and then this little section's just a little maze. It's hopefully not too bad. Ah! Poor guy's missing That's the pretty bad. <laughs> It zooms in so much. I love it. We really need to, to talk with Beyond Skyrim Argonia. I really want those Argonian skeletons. I love the Argonian <laughs> we, we, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we can we can set up a trade with them that they get something from us and we go to skeletons. 
Imagine you have like a slave market and it's just fucking a Kunian skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be no, so bad. That's what I was saying when you when you when you were mentioning that. I was like, I'm so afraid of giving that to the level designers and like we all can the be horrible trusted. Argonian sky or uh, skeletons that are gonna be found in like the worst places. We can, they can be, be trusted. trusted. I can't, but they can. I'm not a level designer. <laughs> Thou can't be trusted with that. Arm he said as she poured another beer. Store. Oh my god. <laughs> That comment. Wow, spicy. Oh, UCM, you already said it. We're under the tomb, right? Yes. Um, I'm lost. Good. Good. Perfect. So, yeah, oh, you can't actually. tease me like that. You know I love the tease. There should Can be a sword here. Did it fall? Or? Can you destroy that? It might have fallen. Oh, wait, there oh, it is. I think. Yeah. That's the sword I have. You're right, it is. Damn. Wait, let's I try don't something. want it anymore. <laughs> let's shove it in there so the vampire. Has yeah. <laughs> is that a uh, destructible floor? Uh, sadly, I, no. Sadly, no. It's meant to be just a destroyed floor. Also, imagine if a hand just came through and just grabbed it. <laughs> <laughs> grabbed the sword, <laughs> just like yanked it away from you. It does like the Skyrim thing where it like swipes at the air and the sword disappears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going this way, right? Yeah, 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 you found the exit. Hey. Hey. I never thought I like, I'd see the day. I like that me, the, the outside of the tomb is like an actual outside, so you see it's a, a weird building inside this mountain with like mm -hmm. walls on the outside and everything. It's great level design, dude. Thank you. Oh. And now we're back in the tomb. <laughs> Way. He had but a really bouncy ragdoll. He did. Should we maybe really go to the grasslands and not not spoiler the tombs anymore? Uh, one last thing. Go. Uh, okay. you wanna click that button. Just just click that button. I wonder what treasure you get. This from... button or this button? This that, button. That button. I said luck based. No. No, I don't believe in luck. I believe in fire. I'm sad oh, I was standing there. slightly to the I'm right. I'm sad oh, you were stand, <laughs> standing aside. I'm, I'm sad. Uh, Blue, is fire shield VFX in? Do you know? Uh, should be. I believe so. Uh, this one. Uh, Charging. Ready, ready, ready. ready. Release. <laughs> or, uh, what was that? I don't, know, I, I don't know about shield. I think resist fire definitely is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Did you hear Gonzo's voice in there? <laughs> pew pew. Hold on, hold on. Where is it? It would probably be in Flame Shield. Oh. Uh, resist. Oh, I see, I see. Wait. Maybe it's not. Mm. Fire. Flame. Hold on. Fire. Maybe do oh. it. Maybe it isn't. Hmm. Hold on. I'll it might be one. um it might be in it just might not be in the uh the so character that's... list, the player character list. Oh I see. I really hope that uh Gons doesn't kill me for this. <laughs> okay, this one actually has sound effects. They're just from Skyrim, but Oh, this one's cool. Ooh, pretty. Uh, okay. Are we ready to spin the wheel? Or are we just going uh, back to Graceland? We can just go to Graceland. I posted, yeah, I posted, uh, uh, Cow Mor World Morrowind 2012. World Morrowind 2012. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. No, no comma. comma. Just 20. Base 12? Yeah. Yes. The comma works. I was using it yesterday. I didn't know. No, no comma. I works. guess they do both. I only use no comma. Interesting. No Oxford comma over here. Do NPCs like Wayne Twilight or Golden Saint reflect spells? Did they take reflect spell out of Skyrim? Um, I cannot in, remember. In I'm Morrowind, sure they, they would reflect so much damage. I think um, there were some people that wanted to rebalance those uh, Daedra because they would just reflect so much damage in original Morrowind. Um, but that hasn't come around yet, I don't believe. Yeah, so we are back. It also got way worse in the DLC. There was oh. so much spell reflection in the DLCs for Morrowind. 
I forgot about this animation. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's one of it's one of the cool cool new animations. I'm getting a lot of levels because I don't think those are set up 100. <laughs> uh, percent I just real talented. Uh, so yeah, this bank. this area of the Grazelands, though, you know, if you look to your right, you can sort of see the uh, the transition as it goes from uh, you know the volcanic more uh, like more land more. Moor to the Grazelands. You know, one thing that was very important to us as a team is um, making the the transitions a little more. Uh, Natural. Reasonable, natural than they were yeah. in uh, Morrowind. It, mostly in the sense that, uh, you know, rock faces are, are the environmental transition area, which is true in real life as well. Because otherwise, yeah, the transition would be over miles, which sadly, because this is a video game, we don't, we don't have miles to show off mm -hmm. a, a, a biome transition. In the Skyrim, I think that's what... They... Skyrim does mm -hmm. that very well, I think. That's what I want to I, say. I think they mm -hmm. don't they uh, use like just rivers just to separate biomes. Very often, yeah. Yeah, rivers are also useful for that. Pretty sure there's no nav mesh here. There's definitely no nav mesh here because this guy's just not doing anything. He's confused. He's helpless. Don't kill him. He has no nav mesh. It's but he's like, angry like at us. He's savage. <laughs> That'll teach you to not have nav mesh. Yeah. You can see this good It's stuff. a nav mesh punk. And now I can be asymmetric. Feetform says this level design is perfect. Good, we yeah, should tell Overseer. Here. Yeah, Overseer would be really happy to hear that. It also slapped sucker. I can't lift Dang. him up, he's too heavy. <laughs> I like that shield though. Is that the... Uh, which, which, which one is that? Which bone wall? Uh, Telvanni? No, our not shield. Telvanni. Yeah, our, our shield, shield, I, I think, know, but... I think the Telvanni sometimes wear this one. Maybe the Yeah, Tel but Telvanni is like the, the one with the, their insignia on top of it. Like, it's very flat. Yeah, that's, that's a good This point. is just a general bone mold tower shield, I think. Oh, as you can tell, Graceland's very work in progress. We don't have the stronghold tile sets yet. Dang, yeah. Raptor, I can't believe this is the first time you're chatting here. Hello and welcome. <laughs> Spell animation with the shield should be implemented. Oh, yes. When you're wearing a shield, uh, you can go like this. Faramir, it's kind of hard for me to say. I, I don't think Dunmiris functions as a complete conlang. Um, it, it is reasonably well fleshed out and a lot of people who contributed to the <laughs> fan wiki um all are also on the team uh, most a lot of that work was done back in a couple years ago but i'd say that it's very like functional like it meets our needs but i wouldn't say it's like a total conlang with like a super developed lexicon that you can use to talk about all sorts of things the source material for what we base it off of is a little bit limited, and there's had to be a lot of educated guesses made, as far as I can tell. Um, they, they've thought a lot about it, but, you know, like, on a scale of, like, how is it relative to, like, Klingon or something? Like, it's not quite Klingon. I think a lot of the grammar can work very similarly to English at times, uh, but it does have more flexibility as well. Zix, where are you going? Shall we spin the wheel really since know, Zix has gone into... Wander mode. Sorry, yeah, my bad. <laughs> no, no, no apologies necessary. Like I, I will also say for anyone watching, that also is such a, a tiny bit of LOD here and there still. A little bit, so it needs but to be a super common thing for pretty much all of us when we go into test something is then getting distracted by other people's work and just looking around. But yeah, I will spin the wheel whenever you're ready. Whenever you. Yeah, they were done bad. murdering uh, poor enough mesh people, you monster. <laughs> you so gotta show them how it's only, done. For only a dollar a day, <laughs> you can get these Ashlanders nav mesh. Yeah. Gotta show them how it's done. Also, I think Megalobro has a question in chat for each of us. Oh, let's see. Little if you are a master of another talent to apply to Skyrim, what would you pick on top of your already chosen talent? 3D. Like, instant Dang. answer. I would, I would be 
all on 3D. I guess there's like a hierarchy because I would do animation. Mm -hmm. I say voice acting mostly because I want a better voice. <laughs> I, I want to do outside effects. of Skyrim too. Out effects, dang, that's cool. You see, all your skills can't be learned. I cannot learn another voice. So fuck you, I was worried. <laughs> These rocks have collision. Awesome. Uh, if I had more time, I'd probably go into and work on uh, some of the coding mechanic stuff to try and uh, fix some of the spell mechanics. <laughs> yes. Lou, all you need for the dead is less life and more sitting down and reading a bunch of it. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gravelands really is nice and lush compared to... Uh... Oops. Oh, this one doesn't have collision. Yeah, some, some don't have collision yet. I knew a it, couple didn't. It is work in progress still. I'm going to slide out, but uh, good luck. Have fun, Goodbye. and I love you all so long. Alrighty. I love you more. Out, dude. Catch you later, Argyle. Likewise. Catch you later. What about implementation quests, guys? Do you need volunteers there? Yes. Yes, we do, to my knowledge. Yeah, you can always no, apply more, to that. More implementation, I think, than quests, but yes. Yeah, chances are, definitely. If, you're wonder, if you're wondering, does Skyrim still need the skills, the chances are the answer is yes. Like this, that the chance is very high of all. Right. Oh, we finally got we it. We finally got it. We got this every, every time. It. In every test <laughs> run, we had Slap Fargoff. It's so funny that it took us this long. Also, six is Slap Fargoff, not murder him, so please unequip your weapon, okay? I, I will try. Can I slap him with a shield? Is that okay? Uh, maybe. Sure. As long as it's not like the shield with the horns in the front, because then it's assault again, I think. <laughs> like heavy okay. assault. Uh, one thing that I would like to preface as we go into a new location and my computer starts turning into a space heater next to me. <laughs> um, the game is, if there are stutters, if there is lag, it is because I'm streaming and I'm watching UCM stream and I have Discord running. And I have other things running, probably Chrome, because I'm watching the chat, right? I I was so surprised. I played Skywind for the first time yesterday, like, off stream in a long, long time to get the outfit, like, set or, or some, something set for ModCon. I can't remember. And, oh my god, it was so buttery smooth. It was so nice. <laughs> the build is very stable, as you could see during the 30 minutes. And we jumped around a lot and teleported around a lot. It didn't crash. It didn't start out like it just worked very really nicely. Every time I spun the wheel, I had to alt tab, which we were very nervous about because you know how Skyrim can be so finicky. But actually, yeah, I've not had, I not had Skywind just very stable. Yeah, Skywind, I've not had crash, and I can't remember how long. Yeah, the only thing is, if you, crash if you alt tab doing loading up the game initially, that's, yes. that's the only finicky part after that, that's fine. And at that yeah, point, that's just the uh, engine thing, which we can't do anything about that. I found our Sadly. target. Target acquired. Target acquired. He's going to shoot with the guard. <laughs> right next I to the guard. The <laughs> what you're planning. I love the zoom in. <laughs> it's very dramatic. It's really hard to control the mouse. Oh my god. In a crosshair <laughs> overlay. Yeah. Oh my god, what's wrong with his head? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, there's That's a reason to... Clearly he's a demon that needs to be yeah. ended. I was about to say, I have a good idea where you need to slap him because he's a fucking demon. I mean, just spin his head the right way around. Chucky, the main quest is mostly <laughs> written. It's the last thing we're going to implement, but uh, it's written like 85 percent we also have like basically all assets for it but it's not done yet yeah okay and, and... all spicy oh, he's got a voice he's got a voice do yeah. we want to talk to him before yeah you can him? talk to him yeah. first all but right. you need to, to say you, you need to you need to lie to him that's important one thing that's important to me, I don't know if it's important to other people, his shirt right now is not the shirt he will be wearing. Someone is currently working on his, like, green suede vest at the moment. That's not the right text. I didn't get the hotfix, damn it. Why didn't you get the hotfix? 
I don't know. I'm just horrible. Mm hmm. Agreed. Imagine. Uh, Chucky, it's just, I don't know, it's just a very big, big task and you just need people to stay on board for long enough to finish a big task. So for some reason, like, we, we just finish the other quests first, but basically the rest of writing is done, which is, I guess, a good trade off. It's I, also, I think it's a, we, we kind of want to put our best, that. most experienced foot forward with the main quest, especially the, you know, the last most important dungeons and yeah, such. Yeah, we learned, just, we learned on that a lot in the last years. Speaking like as a landscaper, as a level designer, you know, my first dungeons are um different. Different. Like I, I was I don't want to say bad, because they genuinely aren't, but they're definitely simpler. They're definitely a little more more straightforward. Whereas if we yeah, if we had um I don't know, the main quest, especially the finale of it, is it feels fitting that it be the finale of development too, outside of QA and little touch-ups. Uh, Argyle's in the chat, and he can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think one caveat that we should mention is that when we say, at least in, in I, I think that's what we're thinking as like between Dell, UCM, and me, what we're talking about is the uh, penultimate finale of the main quest. Like once you talk mm -hmm. to Vivek. Everything after that is being expanded upon, improved upon, to make the finale more interesting. The main quest prior to that is basically all done, as far as I'm aware. So when we talk about main quest not being done, or like we're saving that for last, it's just all that extra stuff. No, we didn't slap Pargoff yet, don't worry. Yeah, and I think you're right, six. I was, uh, I was just talking to him, sorry. I can, yeah. I can slap him. Are we ready for the slap? Yeah. Okay. Shield and, bash or oh, uh, I, I think a, a good right, right, right handed hand. punt, like a hook. Oh no, he's walking. He's walking right into your fist. Oh, oh yo, what is he doing? <laughs> he's so cute. You can smack it out thing. of his hand. I was there gonna say, go. smack it to the ground and then step on it. SG. You gotta make it epic. <laughs> oh my god, this is really slow. <laughs> it's very slow. Uh, <laughs> you will die he says, when we meet again. Him? You will die. <laughs> just, he runs away. <laughs> oh, okay. this was... You criminal. Oh, hey, thanks for this. <laughs> Good job. This is what it looks like. Also, I need to, to go now. I need to work now. I'm very sorry. I wish you guys oh, that's okay, Del. good fun, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll see you around. Goodbye. Sounds Thanks good. for joining us in the after party. Good one. Thanks for joining us in the mod gun thing. Yes. Yeah. Good one boy. more. Uh, one more spin before we head out, Zix. And I think one more uh, spin blue. is good. Cool. One more spin. One more spin. All right. For the people. Fifty percent oh, chance I, it's I... West Gash. <laughs> yeah. Fifty percent <laughs> chance something else. <laughs> On Mars, man. Picking up Fargoth shouldn't be a crime. What do I you agree. know? <laughs> man, if it, <laughs> if it hadn't been West Gash. What do you we, know? I'm surprised. We never landed on any of the one pointers. Any of the little ones. I'm, I'm surprised, honestly, that we didn't. Same, actually. I'm not sure about that. Uh, Thinking, I don't think so. I, I haven't heard any plans about that. Wow, oh, why are the dock noises so loud? The skirt needs to be fixed. It is clipping very badly. Uh, yeah, welcome to West Gash. We're in West Gash now. This is Old Velathi. Yeah. This is the one up in the northwestmost corner, I th yes. think. Yes. Yep. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Look at this guy, he's uh, cool. He is an not Anhydra. I just haven't downloaded the patch. Oh my god. He's... Yeah, this area's got, you know, some, uh, some shacks, some Redrin architecture, which we would have, uh, 
you know, we put it in here partly so we could show that off in case we didn't end up going to uh, Aldrune. You know, I'm surprised Aldrune got weed. picked. Really? Yeah, because we hadn't rolled it prior. Uh, that's that's true. Here you can uh, see the buildings up close. I guess we didn't really get an up close look at some of the ones in Aldrin. Do we have the Pilgrim's kind of Lantern? I'm. I'm sorry. I'm a fake fan. I'm not familiar with that. Is that part of the um, the uh, the slave quest? The twin lamps. Yeah, the twin lamps. Was the Pilgrim's Lantern a lantern you could equip? I, I can't sure. remember. Honestly. Hey. I don't quite remember that. Yeah. Hey, oh. Newton. Uh, for the re just so you know, where you are streaming right now. Ah, just on Twitch. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, hello, everybody. This little after party post uh, wheel stream, post mod con. Gotcha. I unfortunately didn't get to tune in to the mod con. I was at work, but I hope it went hey. well. It was a good time. I had a lot of fun. Oh. I'm glad to not be in the driver's seat anymore it's <laughs> it's amazing how much easier commentary is <laughs> it was a special lantern that was available in a few places in morrowind it lasts I 30 do... real years <laughs> what <laughs> wow what? I, don't, I actually kind of remember this now that you say that i didn't know it lasted 30 no years way. but i knew but i is... remember seeing that now that i think about it is this the bug lamp I feel like I've heard of this. Uh, what am I supposed to be equipping? I want to equip. I mean, jump. I don't jump. So, as a disclaimer, I tried this yesterday. I'm not sure it is working in this iteration. We have a working iteration, but I don't think this is the correct spell, right? Like, you, you, there's, there's like jump and then there's like super jump and then there's like extreme jump or whatever like i don't i don't think i have the right ultra <laughs> jump giga jump whatever it is like adept or expert yeah yeah because someone oh what hi <laughs> all right oh, oh what and he runs He's missing his ankles because these boots are not set up correctly. Fantastic. Yo, why are you running? Where are we at the moment in the world? Uh, the nice? West Gash, just outside of Old Velothi. I don't think I've checked this. I'm gonna nail him. Oh, nice. <laughs> he didn't die though. I am a little surprised by that, but good shot on the side. Oh, I got him. <laughs> The spot's really cool. I like this in the canyon down here. I do love this little... Yeah, it's kind of neat. It is very neat. I think Morrowind had a lot of those bridges over these canyons, but it, not to, like... They weren't as extreme, because the valleys oh, were just sharp. They were more, like... They were more valleys and less canyons. Oh, he's speaking to Marys. Don't walk out of here. Don't leave, cowards. Physics. If you left Morwen on nonstop since its exact release day, holding a Pilgrim's Lantern, it would still have 10 years of life left as of today. <laughs> I looked it up. It's just in an, on an island near Cool and in a random cave by Ebonheart. Dang. Nowhere important. That's wild. Mm -hmm. Let's go towards this cave mine. That was good. I did spin the wheel one last time for fun and it landed on Telfear. We want to go there just for fun? Yeah, why not? I still haven't seen it. Look at this guy. Holy moly. Just a big dude walking around. He oh, needs some animation. Oh, work. I'm, I'm, nice. I'm so sorry, Mr. Skyman. I leave and my employee starts murdering people. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. What Quama monster was that? The the scream is a little worker. bit blurry for me. It's the worker. The worker. I also didn't know the worker was done. Weren't we talking Why? about the worker design during a meeting? What? 
Um, what are these guys doing? What is this? Watch the skies. <laughs> the apocalypse. I'm really coming. tempted. It's Go like for it. They're having a union meeting. No unions in Fardenfell. <laughs> oh, this Jesus. is Tobani territory now. <gasps> <laughs> Whoa! Oh my lord. <laughs> you know, our, our weight values for bodies just not set right, because you can also pick up and throw bodies way easier than you could in Skyrim. Well, that's because your strength is set to 100 with the default character, I think. Mm. Yeesh. Very impolite of you, Zix. You blasted, sucker. Nerd. He's gonna pilot the Silk Strider. Me. Oh. Activate Silk Strider. Do it! Do it! It's not working. Unfortunate. You see him? I'm looking at chat. Someone wants to hear about your Corpus R.A.M. efforts. Is it tell fear lower zero, tower? Zero. Uh, oh, zero, zero. Yeah. I mean, maybe we'll see a little bit of a, a little bit of the corpse here. Perhaps, per chance, mayhaps, may chance. I think it's behind you. Yeah. Beautiful. You know what? I just realized that I need to check what was up with the, the uh, bed list in the Temple Canton. Yeah, if you go through... Uh... What's hey. up here? Is it, I, I'm getting so distracted driving. It's... Yeah, no, it's totally cool. <laughs> ECM is like, if you go through here... Zix's yeah. internal uh, GPS is like, go left, go left, 20 feet, go left. <laughs> Yeah, I think the sisters, daughters, wives, are voiced. Oh, well. God. I didn't even see her there. Wow. So sorry. Hello. And she's talking like uh, Anna Hadri again. He doesn't have voice. One of them must, right? Once. I thought she did. Go on up. Oh, that's uh, you can go up, but you might run into Divay Fear. Oh. Yeah, that, that takes it to Divay. You have to go spot? up, though, right? Yeah, you'd have to levitate up there. We do require the player to levitate, by the way, to get around Telvani, you know, large chunks of Telvani towers. The important I'm spots. Stuck. The important spots. Delicious coat. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. And you poop. One of them is talking. Where are they? I'm not sure. Wow, this is crazy looking. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Mm -hmm. There she is. You just... Yeah. She doesn't have voice either. Must be a different one. Huh. Well, I mean, I never had to go up in here in order to hear a voice, so... Try going yeah. down. Don't die. Gitchiver pointed out that the lighting has done very well. Uh, we appreciate it. However, I'm just gonna say, working with lights in the creation kit is not fun. It kind of sucks. So, to summarize... Every tri mesh, which in case you don't know what that means, is just just like a, a set of tri like part of an asset basically. Yeah, and down um, there can only can only have four lights on it at once, and that might sound not like a lot. Like, why would you ever need four lights? But like, let's yeah. say you want to make a voice. <laughs> if you want to like make a room with a bunch of different colored lights, you can easily get to four or five. Or if you have two rooms on top of each other, uh, so it really sucks. <laughs> you see, I'm can you concur? Oh yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so does she have a voice? Have one. Oh, right. weird. Is it in the hot fix? Maybe. Maybe it's in the hot fix. Maybe the hot fix is causing that. But also go through that door behind you. 
There you go. Or that one, yeah. The one you're just at. Oh. Where are you? He's gone. Gone. We want to give him a tease of this? Yeah, I want to... Or not? Uh, what the hell? It's on the wheel. What the hell? It's on the wheel. This is our last spin, and then we're you headed off in the next ten say, minutes. This is the finale. Just maybe look out the window or something. So yeah, the Corpusarium is now much more... It's going to be a much more... I don't know... Green. Intentional sort of place rather than just a random cave. World premiere. Yes. World premiere. Dal says this room gives her Dark Souls vibes, which is funny. I've never played Dark Souls. There's a an equally green area in the first Dark Souls. Mm, does it also have this sort of amphitheater look uh, to it? Yeah, it's a giant. If it's like a giant vertical tower, basically. Mm. Place your bets. Does that chest have key number seven or key number three hundred forty-six or key number five thousand three hundred twenty-five or I know key the number answer, eleven? But I'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Yeah. Thanks oh. for joining us for the after party, and thanks for joining us during the Minecon if you were there. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. We look forward to it again next year. I really Thank do. Thank you love all it for joining. Year. Thank you all for watching. Does this have collision? It doesn't even have collision. <laughs> Whatever. What a, what a terrible jail cell. For an inmate. This is so sad. Everybody, pour yes. one out for. Yes, uh, in the chat. Pour one out for unnamed female character. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm going to slap it on the ending screen, which has a funny, funny meme wheel. And that's about all we've got for you today. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to keep up to date with the project, if you want to learn more, if you want to contribute, please head on over to Skywind's Discord. Link is in the description. Or as usual, apply to volunteer at tesrskywind.com forward slash volunteer. There are positions available on the team for people of all skill levels, even complete beginners. Thanks for watching and bye for now.